there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. It is September 1st and I want to kick off Pastel Month, as I am calling it Pastel Month, nobody else is, but anyway, I'm going to kick it off with just a basic video to basically help you get prepared if you want to join along in the fun. So uh, first thing I want to do is just kind of tell you what I have planned this month. I'm planning about six to eight different pastel tutorials, mostly soft pastel, which are uh, these type of pastels here. They are kind of chalky. Can you hear that? They're kind of chalky in feel, they're opaque. They blend really well. They're just kind of a, um, a gorgeous medium to use. So most of the tutorials will be using that media. You can see how it's kind of powdery there. I will do at least two with oil pastels because I'd had quite a few viewer requests and oil pastels are the ones that feel kind of like, like lipstick. They're also very opaque and uh, very blendable. So, um, and while I'm doing the uh, the soft pastel tutorials, I will talk about alternatives for using oil pastels if that's what you prefer. I know some people do not like the feeling of the chalk on their hands. So um, I like to keep my pastels in drawers like this. I've got a whole, um, I have uh, nine drawers in total like this and I sort them by color, but you don't need to have this many pastels to begin with, uh, just a basic assortment. So what I wanna do in this video is kind of show you the um, what you will need for the, for the lessons I'm gonna do here on YouTube. They're all free. Um, and then kind of show you what would also be nice to have because I will get into pan pastel a little bit, you know, and just uh, just kind of show you the base, the basic supplies and then what's nice to have if you find that you really love this medium. And I will link all the stuff down below. And also if you are really new to pastel and you would love to have a uh, basic course with four different projects you can do as well as your basic techniques, I do have a course called Soft Pastels for Beginners that's dealing with the chalky feeling, the soft pastels. When I say soft pastel or anybody says soft pastel they mean that chalky feeling pastel and uh, that course just goes through absolute beginning what you do with a pastel to finishing three paintings and I'm putting that 50% off during pastel month so if you want to snag it you can grab it at a deal and uh, you will be caught right up but I will do these um, these tutorials here on YouTube with a beginner in mind so don't feel like you have to um, you have to stress out so the first thing that I'm going to recommend is some paper with a little bit of tooth to it. I'll be using the Canson XL Dry Mix Media Paper for this because uh, it's just so affordable. And um, I think I paid for these 9x12 pads of 40 sheets, I paid under $6 at Blick.com and I will post the link to that. They might have gone up a little bit, but they're still a steal. They come in natural and they come in gray. And I find that to be a really nice base for most of your artworks. This is also really good for um, color pencil, charcoal, any sort of dry mix media. I've even used uh, like crayons on these. They're wonderful. So I'm going to stick to these two papers just for affordability. But if you have Cant and Mutants and you want to use the rough side or you want to experiment with a smooth side or Strathmore Artigan or um, uh, Ingress or any of those other pastel papers, you can use those if you already have them. I'm going to go with these because I just really like this paper and it, it I don't think there's any pastel paper that's less expensive and and the uh, kind of gritty texture is wonderful. There are really pricey papers like UART sanded paper and pastel mat, which I love, but I won't be using them for these tutorials because they're very expensive and I want this to be accessible to beginners. So after you got your paper settled, and this will work for oil pastels and soft pastels, this is such wonderful paper. I hope they don't jack the price up because it is so good. Uh, you're gonna need some pastels. So if you can only afford one thing, one, uh, one medium, I would say go with a medium softness soft pastel and this set right here is really nice it's the Faber Castell uh, set of 72 half sticks this one's pretty old I'm sure they've changed the packaging since then um, I think this one ran about maybe $25 and uh, I don't know what it is now but Mungio also makes a half stick set that's very similar and very affordable if you can't find this one I'll try to find this one and link it up the nice thing about this is all of these are numbered. If you, um, I don't know if you can open order these open stock, but um, they are all numbered and named if you happen to put them back in the right space, which uh, I don't think I have. But these work great. They're definitely going to get the job done for any of our soft pastel things lessons. The thing that I like about the square stick too is that um, you can do a broad area of color 
you can break these smaller if you need to, but you've got the corners so you can do details. So you don't have to have pastel pencils or new pastels, like a harder pastel. They also still blend really well. So um, you're not gonna be uh, struggling to get your colors to blend together. They're just a really nice all around pastel and they're the Gold Faber series, which is more for like students. So you don't have to worry about toxic chemicals and stuff like that. So it's really nice, especially if you're doing this project with your kids or your grandkids. Uh, so that would be my number one recommendation. My second recommendation would be um, the, like the Mungio half stick set of, I think they have 64. I think that would work really well. Or you can get a full stick set, but if you're not sure if you like pastels, then um, this would be a good way to go so you're not out of too much money while you're learning. You'll know real real quick, I think, whether you like that chocolate feeling or if it bothers you or not. Now, for most blending, I just use my fingers, but um, another inexpensive thing that I like to have on hand are these makeup applicators. I picked these up on Amazon. I think it was like seven bucks for I don't know if it was 200, 120. And these are wonderful for blending your pastels. You can reuse them. You can wash them, but what I usually do is I will dedicate an end to a different color. So when I need to mix uh, blend greens, I'll just grab this, the one that already has green on it because they work better the more like pastel they have on them. So these are, these are new fresh ones, but that's what I would recommend. They're affordable and they'll keep your fingers clean if they bother you. You can wear gloves. I personally don't, but, um, but that's up to you. Now, if you're going to do oil pastels, just get an, a simple assortment set of like 48. Um, I like the Paul Rubens ones. I like the uh, Mungio Gallery Soft Oil Pastels. Those are both really good options. I think they run about $25 for 48 or 50 somewhere around that. Um, so if you do want to follow along with the oil pastels, either whatever ones you have, or just get a, an assortment of like 48 colors, and that will be fine. I'll put my my uh, recommendations in the video description. My favorite oil pastel, and I'll also put like the, like I'll put the, the basics and then I'll put the best. So that way, if you do want to kind of upgrade a bit, you can. Um, my favorite oil pastels are the Sennelier, uh, but I only have a set of 24 because those guys are expensive. So I, for the most part, use the Paul Rubens, the, um, the I use a lot of Paul Rubens. I use the Mungio Soft. I use, um, I do use some Sennelier. Heck, I'll use Crayola. I mean, there's there's not as much difference in oil pastel quality. I even use the Pentel sometimes, but I'm not re recommending the Pentel anymore because um, people have told me that the newer packages smell really oily, uh, like gasoline. Uh, they're also a lot smaller than these other sticks, so they're not going to last as long. And they're quite a bit harder, so they're tougher to blend. So um, that's why I'm not recommending those. But if you have them already, go ahead and use them. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just a little bit firmer. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is uh, the kind of nice to haves. This, uh, I just splurged on this, but the prices have been consistently really good on these, and that is the Sennelier ha uh, half stick sets on Amazon. They've been, I splurged on this uh, when it was 120, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and it's 120 half sticks. I just recently saw the 80 set go for like $100 on Amazon, which is a good price for pastels. Um, now, these are a lot softer. So here's the caveat, right? If you've got these, and I don't know why my camera keeps, I'm just going to put something, um, I'm going to put something on screen so it can hopefully focus on that. These are a lot softer. So the thing is, you're going to struggle to get a fine line with these. So if you're going to have a really soft set like this, you're going to need something firmer to go with it. So as you get kind of down the rabbit hole of pastels and you start to add on, you're still going to need those those harder pastels you started off with because they're going to give you that uh, being able to cut in and do structure and things like that. So um, if you decide to upgrade, just upgrade right off the bat and get a set like this to start off with, then you're going to need a harder pastel to go with it. And that harder pastel could be a pastel pencil. It could be a, a square stick set like the, the Faber-Castell I showed you. Um, or it could be my probably my favorite hard pastel are the new pastels from Prismacolor, and uh, this is a this is a fair this is a barely used set because I do have some in my pastel drawers, but they are a really hard uh, square stick where you can get really nice lines. You can go over your pastels and get some really nice. Like you can go over this and lay down crisp lines on top of that. They're just a harder stick and they're good for those lower layers because you can keep layering up. They don't smudge out as much as like the uh, softer ones do. So when you put down that first layer and you blend it a little bit, it's not really gonna go anywhere. So that's really nice for your lower layers. But like I said, if you start off with that, that uh, like the Faber-Castell set I set, the, um, or the Mungio 
We'll start off with this. It's kind of like this and it's kind of like the Sennelier. It's in between so you really don't need all three if you're starting off with something in the middle like that. You'll probably, as you go on your pastel journey, you'll probably realize that you would like to expand and have some softer ones for highlights and maybe some harder ones for detail, but to get started, you know, you can keep it really basic. Um, and you don't need that many colors. If you've got like the Sennelier set, you're not going to need as many colors of the hard ones because you're just going to be using them for sketching. If you don't like to get your fingers dirty, you can use pastel pencils for your initial sketches. Um, this one's by Derwent. Again, you don't need a huge set. I don't know why my camera's doing that. Um, a set of 24 will suffice. It'll be mainly for like going in and maybe you want to put some eyelashes or you want to, you know, just do some, do a detail or something like that. Um, they don't put out as much pigment. The harder the media is, usually the less pigment it's going to put out. So it's more for those quick sketches and for those final details. Some people do full artworks in pastel pencil. And now if you're going to, if you just want to work in pastel pencil, then having a larger set makes sense because, you know, you're not going to, they don't blend as well as pastels. So you'll need more um, intermediate colors and whatnot, but I'm not, I'll be just using them for sketching or for putting final details on if I use them. So I just want to, you know, show you that. Now, something else that is nice to have is uh, pan pastels. I will use them for at least one of the tutorials and I'll show you this set here. This is the painting set. The painting set is what I would recommend if you're getting started with pan pastels because it contains all the pure colors. Um, and like I said, I'll be doing most of these tutorials will just be with your basic set um, of, you know, stick pastels. But pan pastels are really wonderful because you apply them using either sponges or applicators like this, but they're, um, they use these little, these little, like a palette knife with a little sock that goes on them. And I have my knives in the other room because that's usually where I paint, but these go on the end of a palette knife that's made out of plastic and you pick them up like you would, um, like you would with a paintbrush. So your hands stay completely clean. So you'd pick up your color and you'd bring it over to your, to your paper. So this is, uh, these are really fun. The reason I say start with the painting set of 20, if you can, is because you've got all your pure colors. All the other colors, like the set of tints, are all of these colors plus white. The set of shades are all of these colors plus black. The extra dark shades are all these colors plus even more black. So you can mix all the colors in the range of Pan Pastel, with the, the exception of the, like, the pearlescence, by using your painting set. So, um, and if you buy the painting set, then you're not going to have any duplicates if you decide to add the tints and then the shades and the extra dark shades on later. So it allows you to buy the entire set over time without getting duplicates. Um, so that would be my advice if you want to go that route. These are on the pricier side, but um, I think this set probably, uh, I think it's around $80 nowadays. You can buy the set of 80 colors all at once, um, which I think is around $350 or something on Blick. But... Uh, you know, I think I would definitely start with this first and see if you like them or see if you even need the other sets before you go whole hog, but you can do what you want to do, obviously. It's your life. <laughs> you got to live it the way you want to live it. Um, and I think that pretty much goes over the supplies we're going to need. I will link everything down below, but just to recap, all you really need is a set of medium soft pastels and some paper. Okay. So don't get overwhelmed. Um, don't feel like you have to go buy out the store to do these lessons. And remember, these lessons are on YouTube and they're recorded. So if you want to wait and see and then, you know, say, oh, she used something neat there. Maybe I'll go check that out. The video is always going to be there. You can always go back to it. You don't have to have um, it's not like you're going to a, you know, adult ed course and you have to show up there on day one with everything you need. No, you can come back and see and add to it what um what you really need. Like for instance, if you're using these pastels and you're doing some artwork with them and you're like, ah, I need to add a white highlight and my white won't stick, then you can go and buy a Snellier, one Snellier white pastel if you want to, or one Schminka white pastel. I actually like Schminka, it's my favorite, but it's so expensive that it's not, Snellier is so much cheaper and it's nearly as good, so that's why I'm recommending the Snellier. Um, you know, you can go and add like, oh, I wish I had a really, really soft dark black because I want to add really dark blacks on my work or I wish I had a neon color. You know, you can go and you can get those one at a time so you're not, um, you know, investing $100 just to try out a different line of pastels. 
that's that's kind of crazy. <laughs> I tried those Sennelier pastels before I bought that full set. Um, I always recommend trying a couple open stock before you decide to shell out any large amount of money for any big set of supplies. I know supplies are generally cheaper in a set, like per stick or per pencil or whatever, but it, it's good to try a couple open stock before you make a big investment. Um, but honestly, this is gonna this is gonna do the trick. And uh, I hope you join me for these pastel videos. I think they're gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I've been itching to do more work with pastels and I'm and when I mentioned pastel month on a video just offhandedly, like I ought to do that, a lot of you guys said, yes, we want you to do that. So this is a, this is a by request feature. It's because of you guys. So thank you for requesting it and I will see you in our pastel videos this month. Get your supplies ready. Let's have some fun. See you later. Happy crafting.